scientists have finally found the strong evidence of existence of the super intelligent designer hidden in our DNA code. In this video, I will discuss why it is impossible that this code was written by the process of evolution. If the God himself is the programmer of the DNA code, then this code must be perfect and fulfill all the criteria of the most efficient code. We will also understand the incredible complexity and intelligence present in this divine code. So keep watching the amazing video till the end. In 1953, James Watson and Francis Crick were the first researchers who accurately described the complex double helical structure of the DNA molecule. On June 26, 2000, President Bill Clinton acknowledged the DNA as God's creation and congratulated those who completed the human genome sequencing. Clinton said, Today, we are learning the language in which God created life. We are gaining ever more awe for the complexity, the beauty, the wonder of God's most divine and sacred gift. Dr. Francis Collins, director of the Human Genome Project on this occasion has stated, it is humbling for me and awe-inspiring to realize that we have caught the first glimpse of our own instruction book, previously known only to God. DNA is an abbreviation for deoxyribonucleic acid and is made up of four chemicals, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. These four chemicals are actually the bases or nucleotides represented by the letters A, G, C, and T. The arrangement of these four chemicals produce amino acids which are used to create proteins. Proteins are the building blocks of life. The DNA code is written in the language whose alphabets are the four letters A, G, C, and T which are the chemicals as mentioned before. The unique instructions created by arrangements of these four letters is used to perform various functions in our body. The DNA code contains all the information that makes up an organism. All the features that makes you, you, every quality and trait that you possess, every chemical reaction taking place inside your body, and lot more is controlled by this code. As a computer machine language, the binary language uses only two letters, one and zero. The DNA code uses four letters, A, G, T, and C. A computer program is nothing but a sequence of binary numbers, that is ones and zeros, which instructs the computer what to do. In the same way, all the functions that are taking place inside the cell of the body are controlled by an incredibly complex and extremely long code written in the DNA, which is placed inside all the cells of our body. If we look at how does a computer binary instruction looks like, you will see it is something like 1001110001. 0, 0. Similarly, A, G, A, T, T, G, G, A, T, C, A, C, T, A, C, T, G, A, T is an example of an instruction in the DNA code written by using four letters A, T, G, and C. According to Dr. Francis Collins, one can think of DNA as an instructional script a software program sitting in the nucleus of the cell. A computer program may be hundreds to thousands of letters long, but this DNA code is nearly 3 billion letters long, having a copy of the code placed inside all the tiny cells. This 3 billion lettered code is so long that if a person types one word per second for 8 hours a day continuously, it would take him 50 years to type the human genome, that is, the DNA code. According to Bill Gates, human DNA is like a computer program, but far, far more advanced than any software we have ever created. Not only this, this code has instructions also for auto-repairing itself. 
this 3 billion letter code is copied to new cells before a cell dies. So the information is not lost after the death of the cell. These all unbelievably complex functions are performed by the DNA code at extremely high speed without you even noticing. And this code is not just about its length. The code has to instruct the cell to complete highly complex tasks. So it is obvious that the job to write this program is beyond the limits of a human mind. No program has ever been written by chance. If you are a computer programmer, then you can understand how much intelligence, concentration, creativity, pain, and time it takes to write a simple code of just a few hundred words. If you want to get task done by instructing a machine, can that computer program be written without an intelligent programmer by itself, by chance? No, never. So, how can we think that this incredibly long code of 3 billion letters that is unbelievably complex and the densest storage of information in the universe can be written without any super intelligence behind it. Who is that programmer? That must be no one other than the God himself. Therefore, according to many scientists, God has shown its presence in the code of DNA by showing his infinite intelligence. For many researchers, this is the proof of God placed inside every cell of our body. Next, I will discuss how efficiently does DNA store data and why it is impossible to explain the mind-boggling complexity of the DNA code using evolution theory. So let's first understand how efficiently the DNA code is stored inside our cells. From the perspective of data storage, DNA is very efficient since it requires the least amount of material to code for the 20 amino acids. A pinhead sized piece of DNA has the same amount of information as 25 trillion 189 page paperback books. A stack of these books would stretch 920 times the distance from the earth to the moon. If you put all the DNA molecules present in your body end to end, the DNA would reach from the earth to the sun and back over 600 times. In fact, some scientists are attempting to use DNA's incredible capacity for storage to store data. According to Extreme Tech, a bioengineer and geneticist at Harvard Viz Institute successfully stored around 700 terabytes in a single gram of DNA. Now we will discuss why evolution is impossible in case of DNA code. After discovery of the secret code found in DNA, many famous scientists who have been the supporters of evolution have changed their views. Now they believe such a miraculous and complex code cannot just be created by evolution or by random chances. Professor Anthony Flew, one of the most well-known atheists in the world, said he was unable to explain how DNA could have developed through evolution and eventually came to recognize the need for an intelligent source to have been involved in the creation of the DNA code. Flew said the following in a telephone interview from England. At age 81, after decades of insisting belief in a mystic, Antony Flew has concluded that some sort of intelligence or first cause must have created the universe. A superintelligence is the only good explanation for the origin of life and the complexity of nature. According to the theory of irreducible complexity, some biological systems are made up of a number of interconnected pieces that must all be present and functional at once for the system to function. DNA demonstrates a degree of complexity that defies a gradual evolutionary process along with the complex molecular machinery required for its replication, transcription and translation. This raises the question of how complexity could have emerged without the guidance of an intelligent creator. Dr. Git, a former professor 
of information systems explains the basic flaw of all evolutionary views is the origin of the information in living beings. It has never been shown that a coding system and semantic information could originate by itself through matter. The information theorems predict that this will never be possible. A purely material origin of life is thus ruled out. Dean Kenyon, a biology professor who repudiated his earlier book on Darwinian evolution, stated, This new realm of molecular genetics is where we see the most compelling evidence of design on the earth. Hence, it is clear that information must have come from the intelligence. For instance, religious scriptures like Bhagavad Gita, Bible, Quran, etc. cannot be written by random arrangements of letters unless there is some intelligence behind it. Information always comes from intelligence and if the information is extremely complex, then it must have originated from the super intelligence. So friends, this is all for now. What are your views about this video? Please let me know in the comments. If you found the video interesting and informative, then please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video till the end. See you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.